As a beginner sewer, when you are looking for information, when I was growing up and I was being taught, we didn't have the internet. I am part of that generation where we cradled the library and the internet. As I've gotten older, there are more things available on the internet, on the web, that you can find information for. But there's still the old fashioned ways of books and magazines. Now, this video is not sponsored in any way by any of the magazines that I show you, but I want to share this information with you just because it's easy to access most of the time. Even they have their websites you can get more information from, but you can also purchase the magazines that has a little bit of information at a time if you're trying to grow slowly. Or for me, I just like looking at the pictures and I like having something I can reference back to without being on the computer just because I don't like being on the computer all the time. I think it hurts my eyes and it turns my brain into mush, which is kind of funny considering all the computer work I do for the videos. But I share this information with you because there are different kinds of magazines and there are different packages and there are different things you can do and we're going to explore all of it. So the magazines that we are going to talk about, I have four different magazines right here. Let's start off with this top one. So News is a magazine that is cheap, is one of the cheaper magazines, as in the magazine itself, it doesn't cost much. It's about $6 US, and it is filled with a lot of information for beginners. Now, I really like So News because, one, it has the typical advertisements. Everybody's got to advertise, but it does give you some information on who you can go to to purchase sewing machines or the embroidery software or anything like that. And then they typically have some very simple beginner, beginner projects, which I like. I'm like, most magazines have the reader tips. They have, oh, I think So News, uh, so News has a spotlight where you can look at things that, that are, and meet the makers. So you have interviews with local seamstresses or more nationally known seamstresses. And then they give you information. Like for this one's about basic skills. So this is interfacing, what it is, how it's supposed to react. I like this. I haven't seen this one for a while, so I need to go back and reread this. Surging on the bias. So you have lots of information here. You have beginner information. It's mostly beginner. Mostly beginner explaining what things are going on and you know, and just interviewing people. I mean, that's what sewing magazines are. And then it gives you projects near the end. And so that is always awesome. And I really enjoy that. And that's So News. So So News is one of the cheaper ones. You can also find it in the same places where you get threads. So Joann's, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble. That's where I get So News at. Next, we're going to talk about So um, Threads. Threads is a more expensive magazine. It's also a little more advanced. They have some beginner things in here, but they tend to go into more detail about what their articles on, their interviews with people, and their projects. They are more couture, and this So News is more home sewing. That's how I categorize it. So if you are a beginner sewer, So News is perfect. If you want to advance and learn more, Threads would be awesome. So this is the current Threads uh, magazine, and I really like it because I usually give a little story at the end. Somebody input a story. They have all the typical advertisements as well if you're looking for places to buy fabric from or threads or anything like that, or definitely sewing machines. Then you also have your tips that people submit that you might find helpful. I think both magazines have the tips. And then just details on notions and working with Minky here. And then they go into projects. And the projects are pretty detailed and a lot of pictures are usually involved in, in the projects. They also have their interviews with people and seamstresses, known or, or unknown um, sewing professionals, as well as fitting tips. So this is one of the things I like about threads. If you are unable to buy a whole book at a time talking about pattern fitting, 
Threads magazines usually have at least one article of fitting per issue. Now, Threads doesn't come out monthly. I think it comes out um, like bi-monthly. I think it is because this one's numbered March and I'm able to get it now and it's at the end of January. So it comes out like every couple of months. So you don't get these once a month. And that's why I like threads. So there's a lot of information in here. This is good for the beginner. This is for a little more advanced sewers. Now this magazine, Berta Style, it's actually a German magazine or European. So the next two magazine bits that I have are European. Berta Style I also pick up at Barnes and Noble and Books a Million. Um, I don't remember where I purchased this one at. I, I don't think it was Joann's, but I don't remember. Uh, Barnes and Noble, I think, is where I usually get Berta Style at. But anyways, this is a unique magazine because this is giving you patterns. So for, let's see, Berta Style, it's, um, it's $11 which is a little more expensive than a magazine, but it comes with patterns on the inside. So I really like this because it doesn't necessarily teach you how to sew, but it does provide patterns for you. So it's like a fashion book with patterns included. So let's look on the inside here. So this is all European, and so this will tell you at a glance everything that you can make with the patterns that are inside this magazine. So here, here's all the styles and things you can make at a glance out of this magazine, out of the patterns provided inside this magazine, which is, I really like this. So then you have some simple projects and then these are the, because they're trying to sell you the patterns here. So this is, gives you the pictures and the descriptions and the line drawings for the patterns that are in this book, in this magazine. So let's see. So like I said, it doesn't give you tips on how to sew it, but it gives you patterns to sew and lookbooks and things. But it does have a couple of patterns in here. Let's see. Oh, it does give you some instructions, just like basic instructions. So you have some basic sewing instructions in here. Okay, let's go on. So now we get to the middle of the book. The middle of the book here is, as you can see, it's like newspaper. And this is all the information you need that you would typically get from a sewing pattern. So you got your, your instructions on what to do, what the pattern symbols are, how to lay it out so that you can lay it out properly. Then here you have all the styles at a glance. There are some skirts here that I think are, ooh, and there's a vest there I think would be cute. For this particular one, there's two vests, one for a man, one for a woman. I really like some of the, some kids, children's fashion is in here. That's super cute. And now you're going on to the instructions. I like this because they also have you give, taking measurements for Berta for their patterns. Not everybody else, not all the patterns are the same with measurements. So just so you guys know that. And so you have, there you go. So instructions for all that. And this right here in the middle are your patterns. So I'm going to take this out in just a minute so we can show you. And then there's the rest of the rest of that. So let us, how are we going to take this out? I think it's stapled. Yep. Okay, so now I've got the patterns out of, out of the magazine. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was, for Berta style, in order for them to get all their patterns into one book, this is one sheet of paper that was folded up in the middle of the magazine. You can see their patterns are laid on top of patterns are laid on top of patterns, are laid on top of pattern, patterns. So I have black, red, green, blue. Those are all different patterns just printed, layered, layer, layer on top of each other. So your job, and this is where I kind of stall out at, your job is to go in 
and either trace out the pattern that you want so you can save the sheet for later if there's more patterns on there or just cut out what you want and toss the rest. But when you look at these sewing instructions here in the magazine, it does tell you what pattern line you need to look for, what the number is, where it is on the sheet, and what pattern pieces there are. And then it also gives you the sizes as well. So what I would do if I was doing something out of here, I would get a tissue paper or something that I could trace onto or over or however you would want to work it. My personal way is I lay down the brown paper, my brown pattern paper. I would lay this sheet on top of the brown paper and then I would take one of these. It has spikes right here and then I would just trace it. What it does is end up punching holes through the paper and making the tracing lines. So there's no carbonate, carbon paper or anything. You just see the holes onto the brown paper below. It leaves holes in this paper as well though, but I will always be able to reuse this and save these patterns for later, unless I trace them all out at once, which isn't happening because I'm not that dedicated. And so that is Berta style. The one thing I will say about Berta style is don't let the patterns intimidate you. Just because they're laid one on top of another, they're still putting out magazines. So this is still a good deal to buy 23 patterns for $11 in styles that you can keep the book on. It just takes time. And if you have the time and the dedication, this would be an awesome choice. My last magazine, and this is something that I just recently purchased this at Barnes and Noble. So the last time I looked at my local Barnes and Noble magazine section, they didn't have threads and they didn't have sew news, but they had these little kits and there's a whole bunch of them. And these come from Europe or the UK and they have a sewing magazine. They have a couple of patterns, uh, 14 outfits to make. And I got a water soluble uh, pencil in here as well. And I'm excited about that. So I'm going to open this up. So I, as you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't opened it. Ooh. Is that how you open it down here? Nope, it's sealed down there. Okay, so I haven't opened it yet, but let's look on the outside. It says three exclusive gifts, one dress pattern, a project book, and a chalk pencil. I have to say I got excited about the chalk pencil. That's gonna be another video in the future. But let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so first things first, here is the water-soluble pencil water soluble marking pencils, marking pens, anything like that would be awesome. This looks like a grease pencil, so I don't know if it's actually chalk. I'm gonna try that out in another video, so keep an eye out for that. And here is a cute little project book. Oh, that's gonna be cute. Maxi's ruffle sleeve top, Sunny, an A-line dress. All right, well, that's kind of cute. That tells you how to do that. That's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that before. 14 outfits to make. This And this, this magazine is Simply Sewing. Now I know this one's a little more expensive. All right, that's cool. Uh, here's the actual pattern itself. So instead of like Berta style, they actually, pr they actually have the printed pattern here so that you can use it with its own envelope. I'm not gonna open it, but I'll save it for later. The shift dress. So you have three designs, short sleeves, mid sleeve, and long sleeve. Well, that looks pretty simple. I don't know how good I would look in it, but it's a cute pattern. And if you get the right fabric and if it fits right, that would be awesome. So we get a pattern there. So let's see. All right, so this is another beginner magazine, I believe. So this is definitely European because there's the pound symbol right there. You can win 250 pounds worth of sewing prizes. Camera strap, plant putt cover, laptop case, flower embroidery, 28 projects to boost your skills and inspire your hobby. That's pretty awesome. So let's take a look on the inside here. How much did I pay for this? I don't remember, I don't have my receipt. I don't know what I did with my receipt. Oh wait, here it is. It's all right, so this is $17 here in the US. So this whole little package, this magazine, the pattern, the little book of projects, and the water-soluble pencil was $17. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Typical advertisements that you need for all your sewing needs. So 
if you ever decide to upgrade your sewing machine, you know where to look. Okay, so a little, all right. That's way cute. So a traditional teddy bear, that's kind of cool. I didn't see a pattern for that, so there must be instructions on the inside. A camera strap, oh, I'm gonna have to do that. I got plenty of cameras I need to work with every day. Okay. So I like this one. This is nice because it's colorful. It gives you instructions. There's the laptop case. Oh, and you can make bags too. They're all using the same fabric, but that's nice. At least they all go together. And you have the camera case, or camera case, the camera strap. Oh, there's a laptop case right there. All right. Oh, here's even talking about the pencil that you get. Let's see. All right, well, now you have some information over across the pond regarding the sewers over there. So there you go, get to meet some of them. And here's the instructions. Not the instructions, sorry. So here is a style board. I think it's called a style board. Some things you can use for the pattern that they provided you over here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and how to hack it too. So instead of having just the dress itself, now you can turn it into a shirt. Wait a minute. Shift dress hack. Follow our simple guide to add two more styles to the shift dress. And it's perfect for beginners. This is great for you guys. And it gives you instructions and everything. Oh, and this is the second little project book here. All right, so this is a style guide for that. That's pretty cool. Information, okay. More projects, that's cool. I really like the embroidery projects there. That's kind of nifty. But when you have ugly wall colors, what are you going to do with that? All right. Oh, and there's the little teddy bear. That's cute. Uh, gives you instructions. Where's the pattern? Oh, the pattern you have to download. You have to download and cut out the teddy bear templates. All right, well, you can do that on your own time. I'm not going to do that. And there you go. So that's pretty awesome. So for a beginner, you have lots of information out there. You know, you don't have to buy full courses or anything. You can watch YouTube videos like you're watching mine, but you can get magazines. We'll talk about books in another video because I have, I have gone through so many sewing books, but I have my favorites. But sewing magazines are a great way to expand your skills, to gain patterns and information on how to use those patterns, to be able to improve not only improve your skills but to learn how couture or the more advanced sewing techniques and sometimes when you just need to start out you just start out at the very beginning with the simple skills and learning how to jump from there magazines are awesome i love magazines this is why i buy them so i can hold on to them and love them and keep them and go back and refer to them when i need to well i hope you guys enjoyed learning about the different magazines there are I tried to go into much detail as I could regarding each of the magazines that I have here. These are what I found locally in my local bookstores. So I found them at Joann's and I found them at Barnes and Nobles. And I know you can find other magazines in other places like Books A Million and the major bookstore chains. And I'm sure you can find them in some of the smaller chains as well. But if you go to the library, you should be able to find some magazines there. I'm assuming they might have some in the library. I guess it just kind of depends on which library you're going to. But I hope that for future use, for you in the future, if you're interested and you just want to look at some pictures, and look at some fashion, and possibly learn some new things, that you'll be able to find this helpful. As always, remember, links are always in the description below for anything that I use in my videos. And also, like, share, comment. That's always awesome. Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can always be aware of when I have a next video out. Share the video if you would, I would appreciate it. And always remember, eventually the sewing room will get clean. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.